Hi ladies, how are you? Welcome back. This is my drugstore haul, but we're gonna do something different, which I've never done in my channel, is test out a few of the products. So I went to Walgreens. I'm just gonna start. And this is by Wet n Wild, and it's called the Mega Glow Contouring Palette. And it's in the shade Dulce de Leche. And yeah, so anyways, this is the new formulation. I have not owned the past formulation, so I don't know how to compare it with, you know. So anyways, in the back, it has how you can use it for contouring highlighting powder yeah it's really beautiful it's pigmented based on what i see and that's your swatch and it is very very soft so that was the contouring and this one is the highlight powder i'm gonna use this uh contouring palette and the way i'm gonna use it is by using this um contour brush from mac it's the 109 just tap off and then i'm just gonna use it right here because that's where i like to contour for myself you know based on what i see it does look very natural and it reminds me a lot of the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which I'm holding the, <laughs> I'm holding it right now. So it does remind me of it. Initial impressions is that I do love the powder. So it's really nice and it's really soft. It's very easy to blend with, easy to work with. I love it for that. I'm just going to knock off any excess right there and I'm going to go in with the 217 from MAC. And again, I'm going to go in with this powder. Contour a little bit of my nose. Like so. It does contour. Contour is very nice. It looks very soft. It looks very natural. It doesn't look very heavy or cakey at all whatsoever on me and doesn't. But then again, if I want it to look more like snatch, I will go in more, which I will. I'll go in more right there so you can see it. Because otherwise, if I go very lightly, you won't be able to see the powder. Here's a powder brush, and I'm going to knock off any extra powder that I may have and I'm gonna go in with the Real Technique setting brush and this highlighting powder again there's a lot of you see that I don't know if you guys can tell a lot of <laughs> a lot of like a lot of powder so um, I don't know if it has flashback to this powder so I'm just gonna apply it in the center mm -hmm. of my of my nose Right there. Oh, there you go. Set on my nose. And I know they said also right here. Down below. I don't do that, but I'm going to do it just for this video. A little light for me, I would say. But it will be perfect for me once it's like uh, winter. Yeah. Because it's a very light powder. So there you go. I do love this um, contouring palette. So that's really great. Okay, so we're going to move on towards blushes. And these are from CoverGirl. These are the Clean Classic Color. And both of them are beautiful <laughs> this one is in ice plum and that's how it looks yeah you see it right there and i'm just gonna open it <laughs> i'm just gonna go for it it's exciting when you purchase something new i think i got it the right way so you just detach it and then you try to put it in like so there you click it and then you close it okay like that and it's portable and you can take it with you one thing that i noticed is that yeah it closes but it doesn't lock in place you see that so i'm just letting you know you know what i'm saying like cover girl if you're watching can you please make sure that it does lock in place so that way the brush doesn't go flying around and a liquid doesn't go inside i don't know i'm just i wish the the packaging would be something different do you understand? I don't know if I'm making sense, you know, but I'm just being honest. You know, like, I wish it would, it would like click to close. Okay, cover girl, that's it. That's the only little minor complaint that I have. But, um, but yeah. So, anyways, it's really pretty though. I like the packaging. I like this, it's cover girl. Um, I like that it has a full size mirror. You can see yourself and you can hold it and you can put it in your like makeup table, you know, to get ready. And you can apply your blush. So that's really nice. And then I love that it comes with a little brush right here. And it's soft too. I like that. Yeah, really standard. But it is pigmented though, based on the swatch. But I had to go back and forth. But I can see that it reacted immediately, the powder, with the oils on my fingers. Okay? So, I want you guys to see how it looks right there. Do you see the reaction? It had the powder with the oil on my fingers. Yeah, I don't know why. It's the second blush. And again, it's from CoverGirl. It's the Clean Classic Color in Soft Mink. The blush right there that's how it looks and give me one up close right there how it looks 
it's really pretty and then it has a mirror of course like the other one so i'm just gonna connect it right now blush and ice plum i noticed that it was reacting to to my fingertips the oils of my fingertips and it wasn't swatching the way i wanted to swatch but i'm assuming it was because of maybe because i i swatched the other powders i don't know i'm assuming because of that it's not because of the product okay i want to make sure i say that and also both of these blushes the way they swatch is like a mineralized blush from mac okay so if you love like not matte blushes but mm, blushes that have a little bit of iridescence in them like a little bit of shimmer and shine then this would be the perfect blushes for you okay so one is a beautiful plum and then the next one which is in soft mink that one i would describe it more like a soft iridescent pink and it's really pretty okay so both of these are amazing okay swatching them now i haven't used them on my face so i don't know how it's going to be because i have two more blushes to go to okay so those were your swatches i hope you like them now i also bought two more blushes from covergirl and these are the cheekers yeah so the first one is an ice cappuccino and this is how it looks and it comes again with the brush like the first blush this blush also reacted the same way with the oils on my fingertips that's something that i noticed when i swatched it though not because when i applied it this one it is like a, a soft brown i would say ice cappuccino but it has a little bit of iridescence going throughout the blush is really beautiful it's for those girls who love to wear both a blush a combination of both blush and highlight or you just want to skip the highlight and you just want to do a blush that's giving you um kind of like a glowy effect that's that's gonna look pretty so then the next one is in natural twinkle so this one is more like a, a dusty rose it's really pretty right so natural twinkle the way i would describe it is like a combination of two things it's a matte blush that is a mauve like a dusty rose blush but it has shimmers of like specks of shimmers of silver okay throughout the blush so that's what i'm seeing in the swatch i don't know how it's going to be once i apply it on my cheeks but this is the one that i'm gonna go for on my cheeks okay so we're gonna go for this one in natural twinkle i'm gonna use my trusty real techniques brush as i'm applying it surprisingly the shimmers is not showing as much it's not showing it's showing very little i the blush it feels very soft it blends very well on the skin it doesn't look patchy at all whatsoever i'm really impressed so for those days that you just want to go natural you know definitely try these one and you can definitely <laughs> if you want to you can add a lot so with this one what's great is that you can just you know either layer it and keep layering it and it's not going to look heavy so i'm just going to go with my powder brush make sure is well blended there you go i really love these blushes the cheeker cheeker ones these ones i think i paid two dollars i think in a few cents it's really affordable so yeah really nice see it looks very natural i think it looks very natural yeah so i'm gonna give you an up close how it looks do you see that there's no glitter at all whatsoever as well as the shimmers i feel that they just you can it's barely noticeable you can tell right here like right here you can barely tell yeah but is it like a complete matte no it's not okay so i'm gonna make sure i say that too it's not a complete matte it's not like the milani ones no 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 don't get it confused this is much more natural okay so there you go really pretty this one is from wet and wild and this one is the mega glow illuminating palette new formula says right here it's in catwalk pink so oh, this is how it looks from the inside once you open the packaging right four like strips shimmer strips yeah it has two pinks right here this one is like a light pink and this one is more like a peachy pink i would say right there and right here this one is a more like a, a gold and it's giving me a little bit of a peachy gold yeah it's really pretty though Okay, and then the last one, this one is more like a bronze gold. Ooh. 
use my fan brush and I'm gonna go in with this highlight right here not the light pink but the darker pink so I would say don't go like this because I noticed right now that it was out of the product I was losing so just go gently in here okay I'm barely touching it and I am getting product so that's really nice and I'm just going to place it does give me uh, I would say like a little bit of, of a glow but if I would put the Anastasia I would put it against this highlight palette I would say that this one is not comparable to the Anastasia and the reason why is because these ones feel very very powdery they feel very powdery there's a lot of kickoff it doesn't like melt on the skin it doesn't feel like it is it is giving me a glow though mm -hmm. I can see it more in the camera right there so I'm gonna show you this one doesn't have anything just the blush whereas this one you see that it does give me the glow it is giving it to me but it's not to the same effect as the ABH okay it's pretty I do like it a lot but I just need to play with it more I think but first impressions I would say pretty glow and it did show up on my skin so I'm glad for that the only little thing is that I just know that there's going to be a lot of kickoff in the powder is it the same exact as the ABH you know the glow kit I don't feel it is because it's a different formulation you know obviously for being drugstore it's not bad so there you go that's really nice it's from Jordana and it's the complete cover maximum coverage two in one it's a both foundation and concealer and it has one fluid ounce and I think I paid $4.99 so I saw it on a special display like a little display I saw it but they didn't have a lot of shades though that's the one little thing that I noticed okay for honey olive number six okay so let me get up close for you guys right there and it's really cute because it comes in a little test tube I think and <laughs> like so let me show you right now you see so you square it out and there it comes out okay that's kind of weird <laughs> So I'm just going to give you a nice little quick swatch in the back right here. Does it feel like full coverage foundation? Yes, it does because I swatched it before. <laughs> and it is heavy. Like, yeah, it's very heavy duty. But it does melt on my skin because I, I, I swatched it and I was impressed by it. So I'm wondering how it's going to be. But it says right here you can use either a brush or your fingertips and use a dime size amount and start with the product in the center of your face working outwards and that's, a, that's for foundation as a concealer you can take a small amount on the fingertips and gently tap where additional coverage is desired to blend it so I'm wondering how it is so I haven't tried it um, yeah but I'll keep you guys posted on this okay but I'm very very excited for this and this was only $4.99 hopefully I don't know if this is new do you guys know if it's new let me know so the next thing I'm going to talk about is eyeshadows and I have a lot of eyeshadows right here I have four of them two of them are in singles so I'm going to show you the singles first this one is from Maybelline and it's new this is right there it's in tastefully taupe and that's how it looks and of course it comes with a little brush applicator on the go you know you want to see how it looks there you go now I'm just going to give you a nice swatch using my other fingers because yeah Anywho, Maybelline does have um, another taupe eyeshadow that is part of the permanent line, but I didn't get that one because this one is new, so of course I had to get it. And I love taupe. Tastefully taupe swatches like a shimmer. It's really beautiful. I think it's a mixture between, it looks like a gray taupe. Yeah, it's really pretty. And yeah, really nice. I love it. So there you go. That's one of them. Then the second eyeshadow, it's another taupe. <laughs> it's from CoverGirl actually. So, But this one is in tapest Tapestry Taupe. Whereas the Maybelline, I forgot to mention, the Maybelline <laughs> eyeshadow, that one was $4.99. Whereas this one, I think I only paid $2 and a few change. Yeah, because I got it on sale. Maybelline's Tastefully Taupe, that one, I noticed that it looks like a gray taupe with a shimmer finish whereas covergirl's tapestry taupe <laughs> the finish of that one is a metallic but it looks like a mixture between taupe and silver it's really pretty this one is in shimmering sands you guys can tell right there 
first eyeshadow, the pink one, swatches metallic, whereas the other two, they don't swatch as much as the first one. So the first one swatches extremely pigmented, whereas the other two are not as pigmented as the first eyeshadow. Uh, the first eyeshadow really pops more than the other ones, yeah. But they're really beautiful. The trio is really pretty. And I feel that if you use a good base, you can make those eyeshadows pop, you know. That was Shimmering Sands. Okay. The next palette that I have right here is from, again, from CoverGirl. And it's in Country Woods. Okay, so I came back. I just washed my hands again. Dried my hands again, of course. Because of the oils on my fingers. So anyways. <laughs> These are the eyeshadows. In Country Woods. I'm going to get up close for you guys. There you go. So anyways, um, it has a pretty beige. No, it's not a matte. I thought it was going to be a matte, but it's not. Based, I'm seeing it in the light. And it's not a matte. Uh, I wish it was a matte. The next eyeshadow I'm going to swatch is this one right here, right next to it. It's a light brown. Okay, then the next one I'm going to swatch is this one right here. A little bit darker brown. And then the last one, which is this one right here. This one is a metallic finish for sure. One of them is metallic. There are no mattes in this palette. And the remainder of them, like a shimmer. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. I used a primer. The Urban Decay, I know it's not drugstore, but that's the only one that I have right now going on. But if you have a drugstore primer, use that one, okay? I a wild contour, little palette, and I'm gonna go in here. Creative with what I have and just use it up and and see how it works. So I'm just gonna use the contour palette from Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna go in with my 224, and, and I'm just gonna go in there, okay? I'm gonna apply it on my crease, but I'm tapping off a lot. So we'll see how it works. It actually did work. Um, yeah, really cool. And it blends out really nice. If you don't have money to buy something, but you have something already, use it. Because you'd be surprised like how creative you can be, you know? Okay, you see that? So that's our crease. Our crease is blended and it looks nice. Like the contouring on my crease. And that's how it looks. So then I'm just going to go in with the CoverGirl Country Woods. And I'm just going to use a flat brush. You can use the one that they gave you, but I'm using this one from MAC. I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here. And then we're going to tap off any excess that we have. And we're going to apply it on the eyelids. I mean, it looks... This is... It's okay, I guess. You can do that if you want. But I'm just going to apply it on my... Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. You will be impressed by this eyeshadow. <laughs> if you buy it and you take it home, you're like, oh, wow, it's really metallic. It really is metallic. It was it when it came to my eyes, I just used on the eyelid. I just used one color, which was this one right here. And it's a metallic finish. That one is really pretty. And then a little bit I put on the crease this one right here on the side okay this one right here next to the metallic finish right there but then i went back in with the wet and wild metal glow on the crease what i did was i applied more of this contour um powder yeah okay well that's how it looks it's really simple okay I'm to apply eyeliner and then i'll be back okay so i'm done applying my eyeliner which took a long time now i'm just going to Use my eyelash curler. <laughs> I'm gonna curl my lashes basically, that's what I'm trying to say. And <laughs> now I can apply my mascara. And this one is new, it's from CoverGirl, and it's the Super Sizer by Lash Blast. <laughs> it's in waterproof version, it's in very black if you're wondering. It's supposed to give you 400% corner to corner volume, that's what it says. That's the claim that it has. Uh, I don't know if it's true because I haven't even tried it right now. We're going to test it out right now. This one, it has a unique lash styler. You twirl as you apply. It says right here in the packaging. So I thought this one was so cool and so unique, you know. So excuse the hands, but I was doing the eyeliner. So let's see. I get excited when I open something new. No. There you go. I remember I tried different um, mascaras from CoverGirl. And this one is new to me because it's 
It's such a big packaging. It feels like a marker. <laughs> I really thought the bristles were gonna be more out there, you know? Well, I'm just gonna show you the wand. And that's how it looks. Based on what I see is that it does lengthen. And it also gives me volume. But I noticed that it doesn't clump. So I like that. Okay, so that's when I compare to another eye. So I'm going to look in front of you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to apply a second layer, okay? Let's do this. Isn't it weird when you see YouTubers and they're applying the mascara? Isn't that weird? It's so weird. Like anything that has to do with the eye, I think is weird. Okay, right there. Three coats on top. Compared to no coats. Do you see that? Yeah, you do see a difference. Immediately I see a difference. Like if I look up, then I look down. You see a difference immediately. I can tell in the viewfinder. There is a difference in my lashes. So I'm really impressed. So let me just put it in the in the bottom, okay? But you do see a difference, right? Between no mascara at all and with the mascara from CoverGirl. It's amazing. So um, it didn't clump on me, but I always love to go with a lash comb just to separate my lashes, you know, to make them look much more nicer. This one is from Sephora, but again, you don't have to buy this one. There's one by Equal Tools. They make one because I used to own one. That was the first lash comb that I used to own. I remember. And that one comes, I think it comes in a set. Okay, so if you don't have money for it, don't worry. You know, you don't have to buy the fancy lash comb. Just buy a lash comb. And what I like about it is that you can go back and forth with the mascara and you can layer it and layer it. And still, it doesn't look like plumpy, you know. It doesn't look like that. That's like a great before and after, huh? <laughs> with the mascara, you see? It gave me volume like it said it would. Yeah. really didn't have to go with the lash comb, but I wanted to. I always do. So this one is from OPI and it's called... You don't know Jax, like Jax, no. he's French, <laughs> and that's the color. So I would describe this one as a very dark taupe nail polish. I've never owned this one before. There we go. That's my lighting came back. So there you go. You don't know Jax. This nail polish that I, that I bought is from Essie, and this one is okay. in Merino Cool. And this one, I would describe it more of a... It is a taupe, but it's more like a, for me, it looks like a purpley taupe. And that's how it is, okay? In case you want to see how it looks. Um, I think it's really pretty, and there is other nail polishes that I want that I saw at Ulta's website. And it was from OPI, and it's the, well, Carrie Washington. I think she selected the nail polish. I don't know, it's called Washington DC. Yeah, so anyways, long story short. I want those two. <laughs> Not all of them because I can't afford all of them, but there you go. Last thing that I have to show you guys is lipsticks. And these are from Jordana. These were affordable. These were $2.49, but if you buy one, you get one for 50% off. And I regret not buying one extra one, you know, like buying four instead of three. So anyways, yeah, they are matte. I can, they, they have a little bit of a drag when you swatch them. Now I'm swatching them in the back of my hand, not on my wrist, so that's the first one. And that one is called number two, matte blush. Oh, it's more like a pinky nude. Yeah, it's really pretty. Matte blush, really pretty. Okay, and again, these are affordable. So I'm happy that they, that Jordana is making affordable products. They're known for that, no? Okay, this one is in number three, matte frappuccino. I mean, I love frappuccinos. Who doesn't love frappuccinos? If you don't, then that's okay. But this one is a, more like a chocolate brown. Really pretty, right? Really nice. That's matte mm -hmm. frappuccino. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They should make one that is called matte macchiato. They should make a collection of Starbucks lipsticks. <laughs> For real, it's like... Matt, that would be a dream. Then the last one that I have is called Matties, and this one is more like a. Let me see. Mm. Yeah, like a pink, pinky mauve. 
Mine's more like like more pinky, yeah, than mauve, yeah. But those were the three. They had other ones too. They had a red one. They had, I think they had an orange one. They had a bright pink. I just didn't get it because the first Walgreens that I went to, um, they didn't have they didn't have them. They had the display, but it was empty. And yeah, so the second time I went to the other Walgreens, I'm like, ah, oh, well, I already have some. So yeah, use two lipsticks from Jordan. I'm gonna use the matte blush and. First lipstick that I wore was matte blush and it looks because my lips are very pigmented that's the thing so it's it's like I feel like it looks a little too nude on my lips so we're gonna warm it up that's no problem you know this lipstick I feel that matte matte tease is perfect by itself but matte blush is the one that I have to layer okay so that was it that was matte okay and i layered it with matte blush okay everyone so this is the end yes you survived so i'm just gonna go one by one i love the contour and highlighting palette from wet and wild i can use this not only for highlighting but to set my my eyelid very pigmented i feel so next time i'm just gonna go in like with a light hand contouring powder is amazing i love the contouring palette not only can i use it for contouring but i can use it on my crease which is beautiful love 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 the highlighting palette it's gorgeous it does give me that glow that i like it's really giving it to me that may not be the same as the abh but that's okay you know because it's affordable you know and plus i'm getting four strips like four different ones yeah so i love it for that so whatever the mood i am into if i want to do pink i can go for pink if i want to go golden i can go golden so that's really nice these blushes right here from covergirl i feel that these ones are amazing the cheekers these ones i was surprised that they look very natural on the skin they don't look very heavy great for on the go travel friendly and it's good on the budget so these are what's see yes i love those um i did love these ones too because of the finish of them but i haven't worn it as of yet that is compact, that is travel friendly, that has a mirror and a brush. But I wish it would lock in place. That's the only little thing. This eyeshadow from Maybelline. I thought it was very pigmented. It's really beautiful. And I cannot wait to use that one. I haven't as of yet, unfortunately, but I will. And then this one from CoverGirl is really gorgeous. I was really impressed by this one. Tapestry taupe. Yeah, really pretty. It looked like, I think, I believe, I remember it was a metallic finish, right? The Shimmering Sands this one was the most pigmented one it was a metallic finish that one is beautiful cannot wait to wear that one on my eyelids and the other two also okay so excited for that and it's a repurchase for me too so yeah and then country woods oh i love this palette it's really pretty uh i use this one this eyeshadow right here on my eyelids and i think it's i think it's really neutral but it's still really pretty for every skin tone gorgeous and yeah, so I'm really excited for this palette. And I cannot wait to use the remainder of them. The mascara. I do love the mascara uh, from CoverGirl, the Super Sizer. Um, I think the wand is so cool. Yeah, I just have to get used to it using the wand, I feel. Yeah, but other than that, I love it. I'm very excited. And I will see, because right now it's just the first impressions of the, the makeup that I'm using. I don't know how it's going to perform with water as of yet or if it's gonna flake off i'll let you know by the time this video is uploaded in the description box okay so make sure you check out that description box the jordana this one i haven't used it i'm so excited to use this um and yeah i'm gonna test it out tomorrow too <laughs> tomorrow that is sunday i'm testing a lot of stuff okay okay everyone so this is the finale finale i'm so sorry this video is extremely long okay i'm gonna try my best to cut it down because I'm such a talker so anyways okay so the last thing I want to talk about is about the Jordana lipsticks the matte lipsticks those are beautiful I feel that very affordable they are pigmented when you swatch them but when you apply them on your lips I feel that they're kind of like a soft matte lipstick if that's what you're looking for they're not the same as the Maybelline's I would say the Maybelline's I feel they are much more whatever you see on the tube you get on your lips these ones 
maybe because my lips are extremely pigmented i don't know <laughs> but that's okay you know it's cool sorry um i do love them i feel that they're really beautiful colors that they have the ones that i chose you know they're pretty but for me what i'm gonna do the way i'm gonna use them is layering them except for the brown one i feel that one i can use it by itself or i can use a lip gloss on top so that's what i'm planning to do with them you know and yeah i hope you guys like the different style of video that i did for you guys because I have done hauls, but I've never done a, you know, first impressions try on haul thing. Yeah. So I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to, you know, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to follow me on social media platforms. I'll have the links down below as well. And then I have other videos that I know for sure you're going to love and enjoy watching. So make sure you check those out. And don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Don't forget to leave me a like. Yeah. If you actually enjoy this video. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.